Winter is upon us. I mean, not here in Florida, it's 85 degrees outside. In the world of Mythwind, is a cold. Hello and welcome back to Mythwind episode four. This is actually going to be our very last playthrough of Mythwind uh, together, which is sad but exciting. And I'll tell you why. I think uh, I had a few people when I mentioned last in episode three that it was going to be my last, this was going to be the last Mythwind episode. Um, a few people were uh, a little sad and some people were, were even a little angry. But here's why it's exciting because, um, you know, this is a game that is meant to be explored and it has all these different twists and turns and events and adventures. And I want you to be able to go on those, you you know, if you in, if you are excited about the game, but also, you know, just from a standpoint of making board game videos, I would like to share other board games with you. And I have, I think the next board game I'm going to do a playthrough with will be like a one and done, like we'll do one play session of it. And, and that will be, that'll be it. Cause it's not like a continuing story. And then after that, I'm going to do another story based game, which will be about four, four or five sessions. Again, uh, I have two games in particular that I'd really like to do sessions like this, uh, for where we do like four or five sessions to kind of give you a feel of the game. And I want to be able to play other games with you, you know, and, uh, you know, as much as I, I love doing these videos, but they take a an incredible amount of time uh, to both film and to edit. And so uh, I, I can't possibly do more than one game at a time. I couldn't do Mythwind and then some other game uh, at the same time because it's just there's just there's not enough hours in the week. I wish there were. So with all that being said, uh, today we will finish out Mythwind. But remember, there's so much more of this game for you to explore on your own. Now, none of these videos have in any way been sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I chose to do these on my own. I kickstarted this game. Uh, it was not sent to me for review or anything like that. But I will mention that uh, Mythwind is coming back to Kickstarter this month. So if you've watched this and you've said, I really want to try this game out, they are going to be relaunching their Kickstarter so that you can uh, kickstart the game and get your own copy. Again, none of this is sponsored. Uh, I'm just letting you know because a lot of people ask, well, where can I get the game? That's where you can get the game. So they currently have a Kickstarter page. So if you just look up Mythwind, uh, you can follow along and then you'll know when they're going to... Uh, start the Kickstarter and then you can jump in and, and pre-order. And I got, I, I think I did the almost all in bundle. There's a couple little uh, add-ons that I didn't get. But I got all the things you need to play everything as well as all the expansions to play with. Uh, so that's what we've been playing with here. The innkeeper is part of an expansion, for example. Uh, so you wouldn't get her in the normal box, but there's an expansion that you can do, which I believe is called Expanded Horizons. Uh, and then you can play uh, with, the, with the innkeeper as well. So I just wanted to let you all know that because I get the question a lot, like, where do you get this? Well, it's, a, it's something I kickstarted and they are doing a second kickstarter. So if you want to get it, that, that's how you get it. All of that being said, before we jump in, I just want to say a huge thank you for watching and enjoying these videos. Uh, I When we started this, you know that I wasn't even sure that board game playthroughs are were something that I could do. Um, I was very nervous to do it for the first time, and now it's something that is going to be a continuous part of my channel with new games and new stories to tell. This has been such a joy, and you guys have made it so much fun. So I, I am also excited for what we play next, but also sad to not be playing Mythwind with you anymore after today. Uh, but we're going to have a lot of fun today to make it. We're going to go out with a bang. Well, it's, it's winter in Mythwind, so we're going to go out with a burr. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about some names. We need to make sure we get our names straight because I asked you guys for a lot of names last time, right? So we already had our, one of our cows was named Sally. So first up, I want to thank Emmy Hage 8477 for naming our cat. Uh, you'll remember that Ruby, our innkeeper, uh, adopted several animals last episode. So our cat is going to be named Treetop. I just thought that was such a funny cat name. I'm like, okay. Uh, we also adopted a dog. So Shell Bowdler 6169 gave us our dog's name. Our dog is going to be named Gaspode, which I love that because it's a Discworld reference. So I was like, absolutely, yes. Alyssa Taylor 6473 gave us our chicken's name. We also adopted a chicken. We adopted a lot of animals, okay? Uh, and our chicken's name, I... <laughs> Listen, this was so good. I love this one. Our chicken's name is Cluck Norris. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I love it so much. Zara Frey 4 gave us the names for our other two cows. We got Sally, a boyfriend, and then uh, we got, well, a, a situationship. Well, you know, they're seeing each other. They're talking. They've been texting, uh, but nothing serious yet. But they do have a child. Uh, our The boyfriend's name is Raphael, and their child is named Jesse. Those are cow names, by the way. I know it gets a little confusing because sometimes I don't even know what I'm talking about, but our cow family is Sally, Raphael, and Jesse. 
And last but not least, I asked for a name for Ruby's Inn, and somebody mentioned that because of all the animals living there, it should be called the Menagerie. And that sounds, ex I mean, perfect. That's exactly what it should be called. That name came from Zara Jackson 4808. So thank you to everyone for recommending names. I'm sure whatever game we play next, I'll be asking for some fun names as well. But that was like, that was such a joy to like go through all your recommendations and names for the different things in this game. Uh, that was so fun. So thank you for all of those. Y'all, I think it's time. I think it's time for us to jump in. Let's see what winter has in store for us. By the way, Todd is starting with $4. <laughs> Todd, I thought we made some money last season. What happened? I swear Todd gets robbed in the middle of the night in between seasons. But luckily, uh, Ruby has some money. So we're going to be good to go there, which is just great. All right, first day of winter. It looks like it's cloudy out today. And it looks like we are going to finally be able to construct our lumber mill. Oh, we're going to need to make some space for that fishing ground. Uh, so our lumber mill is going to give us some production. That's exciting. Uh, and then we can go, we can... Uh, go here and we it'll give us some production at, or it'll, it'll give us some income at the end of the season. That's exciting. And we can um, go here and spend one uh, one notch on one of our village workers and $4 uh, to get some more production. So that's exciting. And then our fishing ground moves up one. So definitely someone's going to need to go out on the town today and uh, do some clearing of some land. Uh, that's def Oh man, but she just got money. Come on. <laughs> Todd, what is this? What is this $4? Didn't you have $4? Now you only have three? Oh, wait, I found the other one. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, by the way, our goal this season that we're working towards is we have to discover one land for every character. Uh, so I guess that's fine. Ruby will have to do that. But Todd, you're going to need to make enough to do that because it costs 10 gold to discover land. And Todd, you don't have you don't have funds for anything, my friend. Oh, but we do have some things we can... Uh, we can possibly get a grow in and sell. So that'll be all right. Uh, I stand corrected. It's actually only five gold to discover land. So we might be okay there. It might not be so bad. Now, of course, we need to see who's coming to dinner tonight at the inn. So let's do that really quick. And we added in some more uh, some more visitors that are going to be harder to please this time around. So that's that's deeply concerning, if I'm being honest. That person wants us to have, have wine? They want drinks at the inn? What a monster. This person wants a stage? Oh my god, and I have to- eight people? Oh no, this is not it. Uh, this is deeply troubling. I- <laughs> I- it already- oh, there's Todd. Todd never misses a day to go have a little- to go have a beverage. Uh, wow, that are- I don't- I'm not even gonna- I'm gonna pretend that's not happening to me right now, because that looks really bad. Okay, so first things first, we need to clear up some land so we have a space for this fishing ground. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's go here to do that with her. Todd, what are we doing with you, my friend? What is- what is your life even- what is your- oh, we'd like to plant today, Todd. We would- oh, I didn't even get out our workers. What a mess. I don't even know what I'm doing today. Um, okay, so these were like this. These were like, we have lots of workers. Oh, and we can hire workers on the cheaps now, um, which is great. Uh, oh yeah, we can hire, we can hire sprites for only $1 today. Todd, that might be, that might be what we do, my friend. I think we can just send somebody here. I don't think we have to like go there with anybody. Todd, I'm going to send you on an adventure and hopefully, and oh, but I don't have any workers yet. Oh my gosh, I can't send someone to to buy workers because we don't have any workers. Oh, Todd, what is your life? What is even going on with you? Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to get some workers. Look, now we only have two gold. <sighs> Todd, buddy, stop paying a livable wage to these sprites. You have to, this, how are we going to ever get anywhere? I, <laughs> this is not how you become the 1%, Todd. Ruby is going to clear some land for us. So let's do number six. Oh, interesting. Oh, she has to pay $5 for that. So let's do that. So this symbol, I actually looked this up. This actually is for here. So this is going to, um, I guess, finish and just immediately go here. And then we get a new sprite die to the tower. So that's kind of fun. Okay, so the fishing ground lets us give up our character action for the day to spend either one income or one production to gain one food or one culture. Interesting. I don't know when I would need to do that necessarily, but maybe at some point I will. Um, okay, so that's that's what we're that's what we're doing today. Uh, over here, I definitely want to plant something. Um, I'm gonna plant, I guess, some potatoes. 
some some potatoes and I can plant a second time which I'm gonna do so I'm gonna spend a coin Todd, for those keeping track Todd is down to the to the wee nothings of coinage um, he's got all he's got left are his skivvies uh, and then Oh goodness. Uh oh, and this will this would let us plant again actually because we took that plant action. I could spend my last the last dollar to my name uh to plant again. Oh, I see. So I can plant one more thing into the field that is adjacent to that plow. So yeah, let's also plant these these potatoes as well. Wow, we have a lot of things planted. Oh, and then we have sprites. My goodness, my goodness. We could use some sprites to then tend, oh, I can only tend one thing. Okay, <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's tend these potatoes because they're worth some money, but we can only tend one thing right now because we don't have, yeah, that's all we got, we're tending. We're tending, we're tending. Over here, oh, this is gonna be a little tricky because I just realized this is gonna be a little, this is gonna be a little tricky. Okay, so we've got these two. Todd can sit at his table. Todd loves his table. He's a big fan of his, although, oh, but this person needs a stage. I can't possibly help them. This person will go to the bar. This person will go to the door. So what does that leave us? What do we have extra? We have uh, nothing. That's one, two, three, four, five. We have, we have nothing. So honestly, you know what I should do? I should just not worry about Todd because this person is gonna need, this person's gonna complain this person's going to be a problem, and this person's going to be a problem. We're going to get at least one complaint today, y'all. It's a very sad day. So I'm going to do the pamper action. I'm going to put this sprite that's going to throw a fit by the door, um, and they're going to give me one coin. Unfortunately, oh, I could have... No, oh, I, I need $8 to buy something, but then that would mean... Well, what I need is a table. But this person... Uh, this person stinks. They need a stage. They want they want a stage, and that is twelve dollars, sir. You're th you're the worst. Okay, so <laughs> that's fine. So if you're joining us for the first time, essentially what I have to do is I have to try and seat all of these customers. The inn opens at night. All the customers flood in. They all want to seat, and some of them are super picky. Like this person wants to sit by a window, and they want us to have a kitchen because apparently they expect us to cook food for them at this inn. Some people, I some people, some sprites. They're just the worst. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there, this can go here. We do in fact have a kitchen, so that's great. So then we get one, two, three, four dollars uh, from all of that. So I'll put one of these back. And then we lose these three, sadly. Uh, and oh, this sprite is going to complain, so we have to give up two dollars? What a jerk. Okay, but tomorrow, you see this here? Tomorrow we can, uh, we can build a stage, and then who's going to be laughing then? Unfortunately, I can't go up on this track anymore because I don't, I haven't put any, like, real furniture. You walk in, and there's, like, no vibe. Like, there's no, there's no decorations. It's literally just, like, tables, windows, door, bar, kitchen. There's nothing on the walls. <laughs> it's, there is no vibe. The vibe is, come as you are, eat as you are, then get out. That's that's what we do. At the menagerie, that's all you get. Oh, there are animals. You can pet the animals. It's like a cat cafe that feels like a prison. It's 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 better in person. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, so all of these can go in here. Uh, and then that's it. We go to our we go to the next day. It's time for the next day. All right, so today it is sunny. Now, unfortunately, we don't have anything else to build. Uh, we don't have anything else to build in, so we don't get to move anything up there. Uh, we already put out our plants over here. Now, in winter, Todd doesn't get any special days. There are no special days for Todd where he gets to do something special in winter, sadly. Uh, it's a sad day for Todd. But because it's sunny, we only have to deal with seven customers, which that's great. We love it. You want a you want food and a stage? Not even a kitchen. He wants actual food to be served from Oh, two of them want that? Oh, y'all, this is <laughs> this is bad. I can't accommodate any of these people. These people all want too much from me. They all want so many things. Ruby, you need to hire some workers, my friend, because I, I was gonna build something, but I need workers so that I can potentially make some of these people happy, actually. I'll hire these these fine sprites here. Todd, what are you doing today? You have no money, as usual. Uh, what we really need to do today is potentially use our sprites to sell some things. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so we can make some money. So I tell you what we're gonna do. Todd's gonna go on adventure, see if we can find Chunk. So if you were here in, in autumn, Todd and Chunk, or as the tabloids call them, Chod. It sounds like a dirty word, but it's not. Uh, they went on a date. It was scandalous. They went to a private spot uh, in the in the woods. And, you know, now, but they haven't talked since. It was a beautiful moment. But then, you know, Todd was waiting for Chunk to call. And Chunk didn't call because Chunk is a golem and doesn't, doesn't have a phone. And, it, and things got weird between them. So we don't know. So we're going to send, we're going to send Todd on an adventure and see if maybe we can find, if we can find our lovely, our lovely Chunk again. All right. Rock fall. Now Chunk is a rock golem. <laughs> so maybe Chunk will fall on top of Todd. Oh, scandalous. That's scandalous. An hour into a pleasant walk along a river ravine, enjoying the morning air, you hear a sudden thunderous rumble from the nearby cliff. It's an avalanche of rocks! You only have a second to think. We can flatten ourselves against the cliff, dive into the river, or run back the way you came. Where's the option for Chunk to come save us? Todd, what would you... Look at Todd. Todd's not gonna flatten himself against the rock. Todd is like me. He's got a little... He's got a little tummy. We can only flatten our... People People of our type can only flatten ourselves so much. I don't... I feel like running back the way you came is not the answer either. Todd... Todd's not a runner. Look at Todd. Todd doesn't run. I guess let's dive into the river. I feel like Todd floats. Todd. I feel like Todd floats. Okay, we're gonna dive into the river. You dive as deep and fast as you can, swimming with the current to get clear. You manage to escape harm and count yourself lucky. Oh, okay, that's great. That sounds great. Uh, the character action that you perform this day happens twice. Well, that's wonderful news. That's, that's great. Todd, this is the best thing that's ever happened to you. I mean, not the best thing's ever happened to you, but normally on Todd's adventures, he, he would have been crushed by the rocks. Okay, so we're gonna just, we're gonna take this as, a, it's a win. A win is a win, okay? Well, great. So, uh, Ruby has some workers. Todd, you get to do two character actions, my friend. I think what Todd is going to do, I think what Todd is going to do is he's going to do the, uh, he's going to do the, the, the tend action twice so that we can potentially sell two things. Okay. Are you ready for this? Uh, we're going to make these potatoes like that and these potatoes like so, and then we're going to use our, our sprites, uh, to do this action. Um, and we won't get to use the, uh, we won't get to use this part of it, but we will get to use this part of it. So we're going to sell these and these, uh, because it lets us sell a second time and we're going to get $8, Todd. My goodness. We just went from no money to some, a tiny bit of money to change. <laughs> we just, we just did the equivalent of finding change, like, in the sofa. <laughs> like, that's what we just did for Todd. Oh, Todd, your life is a wreck. Okay, over here. This this situation is deeply concerning. So mingling is actually not going to help us. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do some... We're going to have to make some people happy. Okay, so let's see who we can automatically make... Who actually we can make happy without really having to try. So this person can sit by the door. They're happy. This person can sit... Nope, they need a kitchen. This person... This per, all All... Hold on. Every, can I make something yet? I need to make a stage. Oh my God, I spent that money and now I can't make a stage. This is, this is a day. Well, if I pamper people, uh, if I pamper people first, I could use the Sprite. No, I can't pamper enough people. Wow, so, so just to review, <laughs> the only person that I can for sure seat without any problems it's, is one person. Just one. Okay, so then the other, so then I have three people that will complain. So maybe let's take care of them. So let's pamper one of them. Let's pamper this person. We'll sit them at the table. They give us one gold. Then we'll use our sprites to pamper another person. We'll sit them at the bar and they give us one coin. And then no one else gets anything. <laughs> So I'm going to set this person by the door and <laughs> a rough day, a rough night at the end. So we get $1. We're actually going to go down one in, in renown because there's a lot of, co <laughs> can you imagine looking in this place and being like, there, there are seats everywhere. And we'll be like, sorry, we can't seat you because we don't have a musician tonight. And that's one of your qualifications. I'm embarrassed. Ruby, this, this is girl, this is embarrassing. Um, 
Okay, so the only person that complained is this person, and they're actually going to make us go down another renown. It's fine. You know what? Some days you win, some days you lose. Maybe tomorrow I can finally buy that stage we've been hoping for. The old menagerie. We had a, we had a rough go of things. Let's go to the next day and pretend today never happened. Ooh, it's cloudy, and we get an event. Where are the fairies? Question I often ask myself. Uh, although you have continued to search for them, the fairies remain elusive. Meetings are held in town to discuss whether they've been offended. A group of towns- They probably were offended because they weren't allowed to sit at the inn last night. <laughs> they probably are offended. A group of townsfolk spins all tales- all, spins tall tales all evening about what will happen if this isn't resolved. Meanwhile, a group of children play at pretending to be fairies. I- oh, I also used to do that. Uh, I still do, sometimes. Fix disrupts the meeting with a laugh, and she points at the fairies, watching the proceedings with interest. I gain- we gain some- we gain some, uh, culture. If you have already built the tavern- mm, I f Ah, we did, we did. Uh, gain- we get another- another, uh, sprite. That's great. What is everyone doing today? What's the goal? We do need to make sure that Todd, I think I'm going to get Todd's like clear the land situation out of the way. Todd is probably going to want to plant again today. I'm going to spend some money to clear land because we need to do that for all characters and I would rather just get it out of the way early. So, oh, Todd, look at that. Todd just made more money from clearing land than he's ever made from farming, which is literally his job. <laughs> Stage. Okay, today is the day. We have to build a stage. Listen to me now. It's cloudy, so we have to do eight, eight whole people. That is a lot of people that we have to make happy today. Oh my god. So we're definitely going to build, we're definitely going to add our stage to our end today. That is priority number one. Uh, so I don't want to hire any workers today because I need all the money I can get. Maybe we go on an adventure? Ruby loves adventures. Let's take Ruby on an adventure. Maybe she'll find another pet, right? Oh, this adventure has like a picture on it. <laughs> this is called a treasure map. Oh, in a scuffed old scroll case half buried beneath a boulder, you find a weathered map with a red X. Indicate which town location you think the treasure is. Uh, I mean, that looks like, it looks like it's here. Is there some, oh, oh, I see. You have to actually point at a thing and then you look at the thing. Okay, great. If you chose 11, uh, which I, you know what, this is already, this is already a problem. Because when you get these adventures, they tell you if you can do the sprite actions or the villager actions, and this one says villager action, and to work on building my, oh, but you know what, my sprites could build it. Don't worry, everything's fine, everything's fine. Listen, relax. I know, I know I stressed you out a little bit, because I was stressed out, but we don't need to be stressed, because everything's gonna be fine. If you chose 11, which I did, you found the treasure. If the spot hasn't been discovered, discover the land for free. What a day! Oh, and then we get to boost boost up somebody. We get to boost up, we'll boost up this person. Uh, and then I don't have any, I don't have any villagers. So there you go. Uh, well, that's, uh, what a day, what a day that is. Um, and then, including the bonus, then gain $10, my God, for, for me? And one level one skill at no cost. Wh what a treat, Ruby! Ruby's just like, let me just go on a pleasant adventure and get 25 things. And man, meanwhile, meanwhile, Todd is out here literally dodging rock slides. Do you think Chunk, maybe Chunk's family doesn't approve of Todd and Chunk? And maybe Todd's family pushed those rocks down on him. The drama. The drama. I'm not naming names. I'm not pointing fingers. But I am pointing fingers because I think they did it. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm torn. I either want to get, uh, so there's this, this one. Uh, this is Rumor Monger, and this actually lets you send, it's a skill that lets you send someone back to the bag. That could be very useful, because we're getting a lot of, like, problem people. <laughs> uh, but then I have another one that would let me gain money for, like, every time I use it, I gain money for just having, like, tables, or for having doors, or for having bars. I think I'm gonna take this one that lets me send someone back to the bag, because I think that could be very helpful. And I'm gonna put it with, because uh, I almost always do this pamper action, so I'm gonna put it with the pamper action, um, because I think that could be very, very helpful. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I feel good about it. Wow, that, Ruby, what a turn. What a turn, Ruby. Okay, so over here, so Todd does get to do a sprite action, and it's cloudy, so I think we do wanna plant uh, today. So let's plant, let's do, let's plant some more potatoes, uh, like so, and then I want to plant, 
Oh, I want to plant these potatoes, but I don't know that I can plant them where I want to plant them. Um, oh, but the potatoes have to be touching. Hold on. I take back everything I just did because it, it wouldn't work. Let's do this, and then let's do this, and I'll pay one so that I can plant two more sets of potatoes. Two more potatoes. Look at that. And then my sprites, which will get used up uh, for doing this, I'm going to have my sprites do a tend action. Um... Oh, and I have this. Oh, I just did that. Never mind. Okay, so then I'm going to put them here. They're going to tend, so they're going to turn this. Let's turn over this one here. Actually, no, let's turn over this one. Ugh. Start getting some of that sorted out. Oh my gosh, things are, things are happening over here. Okay, so we have some things that we can potentially sell next turn, and then these guys are going to return to the tower. That's pretty good. So Todd, you may, my friend, you may need to go buy some more, some more help, hire some more workers, right? All right, let's see. So we for sure can do this one at the bar. Um, I am going to build my stage, I think. So that will help that. This person wants to sit by, what is this? What, what is this? We don't even have this. What is this? A, fir a fireplace? You want a fireplace? Oh no, we don't have a fireplace. Okay, hold on. Let's let's resort because maybe I build a fireplace today. Maybe today is a fireplace kind of day. We do have two windows, so these people can do that. Uh, is anybody else going to cause problems? This person's going to cause problems, so I might need to uh, pamper them. But I don't want to pamper them. I don't want to pamper them because I want to build something. When it comes to the stage situation, I think we take the law. So I so I have to take a a people. Uh, a, a villager action. So I, I'm actually going to throw a party. So that means that we take this little party token. I'm going to do parties on the windows. So anybody seated at windows is going to give us two more dollars at the end of the night, but it does make us go down by one renown, which you know what? That's fine <laughs> because I need, I need less people for a couple turns so I can get my life together. And then uh, I'm going to have my sprites they're going to do a, they're going to build us something. So they're going to, I guess, I guess we're going to build this furnace thing. I was going to build a stage. <sighs> what do we think is more important? I feel like the furnace right now is more important because that person's going to complain. Fine. Here's your stupid fireplace. Uh, we'll put it down here by the window. Um, or maybe we'll put it right here. No, I, I feel like it needs to be bought. Like it needs to be against the wall. I feel like it'd be weird to just have a fireplace in the middle of nowhere. Okay, we'll build that. It costs 10 gold. Oh, so expensive. And then I can't unfortunately pamper anybody. So somebody is going to complain, but we are going to get, we are going to get some good money today. Okay, so this person's going to go to the bar. This person's going to go to the here. Oh, no. Okay, going to go sit by the fireplace. I can't believe we didn't already have a fireplace. That's crazy, right? Window window and kitchen, which we have, and door. Okay, so now we have to deal with complaints. So, oh my god, this this little rock sprites complaint, I'm telling you, the rock, the rock people are mad at us, okay? They're making me get rid of my bar. That bar was eight dollars. How does that work? Have you, I mean, I guess they complain because we like don't have a liquor license <laughs> and we get in trouble with the Mythwind like authorities. That is wild. So that person just just becomes unseated. Because because we lost our bar? Now I'm gonna have to buy a bar again. That is hateful, okay? I hate I hate it. And we're gonna lose renown now because of that. I hope you're happy, you little rock sprite. You're never welcome here again. We were we reserved the right to refuse service to anyone for any reason. And you complained and made my day bad, so get out. So we're losing a renown, but we do gain some money. So we gain one, two, three, four, five, six. We gain more for some because they're higher like tier. Uh, so we gain more for them, and then we gain one, two, uh, for the party uh, that we threw um, by the windows. <laughs> we threw a window party. Man, Ruby. Ruby had such a good life. Ruby was doing so good, and then I don't know what happened. Some of Todd, Todd came to this bar, this inn too often, and some of his bad luck rub, like rubbed off, off on her, and now... So let's go to the next day. All right, day four. It is sunny. Nothing special going on today, so let's just jump right in. Uh, for Todd, Sunny is kind of nice because it means that he can potentially sell a couple of things. So we love that for Todd. And he can do that with anybody. But I do think Todd should probably hire some more workers. Let's have Todd hire two workers. We'll do the, some sprites and some villagers. And then um, 
So that's what Todd's gonna do. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Um, <laughs> okay, I don't wanna spend any money. Maybe I'll go, we always send Ruby on adventures. I would have Ruby build something. Like she could, she could build something. She could build, uh, we can't afford that. We can't afford that. Let me tell you, building everything takes income. I really think the inn is the thing. So we're gonna need to get income. Ah, uh, go. the tavern makes it cheaper to get income. So maybe I'll work on that with Todd because I can spend, hmm, interesting. Because we can uh, basically like lower someone and only spend four to get income. So maybe that's, maybe that's the play. Maybe that's what we do. Today, I think I'm just going to go on an adventure. Hopefully, I mean, her last adventure was great. Let's just do more of that. So this is Hair Raising Encounter. Passing near the mountain range today, you hear the sounds of the woods suddenly go quiet. You catch a glimpse of a hunched figure hurrying away through the underbrush, leaving only a stench that makes your eyes water. It's too large to be a sprite, but doesn't appear to be quite human. Oh my God, is it Chunk? I mean, I know it's Ruby out on this adventure, but I just feel like, I feel like something's up with Chunk. I'm really worried about him. <sighs> Pursue the figure or wait to see if it approaches. Ruby's not ch going off chasing after nonsense in the woods. Can you imagine Ruby seeing a cloaked figure in the wood and being like, yeah, I'm gonna follow that person. Absolutely not. <laughs> we'll wait, we're gonna wait. Whatever the creature is, it makes no move to return to where you are. Once the normal sounds of the forest resume, you're confident that it is gone. Okay, we get to, oh, we get to bump up one of these, which is fine. And then we get to a shuffle event EH2 into the event deck. That, and we get to do a sprite action today. Wonderful. So today it's sunny, so I really do want to have Todd do some selling of things. So let's do that. So Todd is going to do a sell. He's gonna sell these potatoes for three and then he gets to do another sell action uh, where he can sell these. Oh, it's too bad I couldn't tend first. That's too bad. Um, so he's gonna, cause then I could sell, I mean, I could sell one other thing for one gold, but it's not really worth it. So I don't think I'm gonna do it. And then I have all these lovely workers, right? So I'm gonna have my sprites are gonna do a tend action. Uh, they're gonna go here and they're gonna tend Maybe this. Uh, let's see, what's what's more? Oh my God, there's just a lot happening here. <laughs> let's have them tend to this because it was worth more. And then I'll have my little workers will um, sell that as well to get us some more money. So now we have, Todd is like over here, Anytime Todd has over $10, I worry it's going to go to his head. I worry he's going to like start frivolously spending on things like new overalls or a gift for Chunk. I mean, he should buy a gift for Chunk. It seems like Chunk is going through some things. He's out, out in the woods, smelling with a cloak on. I don't know. That might have not been Chunk. I might just be Stone Golem profiling. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We I didn't even pull people out to see who was visiting the inn tonight because I was so stressed about yesterday's incident. I was just like, the inn is closed. <laughs> No one is allowed to come into the inn. Okay, today we only have to do six people because we've lost a love for now. Our, our Mythwind Yelp rating went down enough that now we don't have to deal with as many people, which quite frankly, I'm I'm fine with. Uh, is that six people? That's six people. Okay, great. There's, there's already a problem. I can already see a problem. <laughs> I'm going to pamper. Oh, I guess we're only building one thing today, y'all. I'm sorry. It's just, it's the way it has to be. This person can just sit here, give me a coin, fine. And then these two people are just, we're not gonna do anything with. I don't need to send either one of them back to the bag because they're they are not gonna complain, so it's fine. And then I'll use my sprites to build. Do I build Do I build back my bar or do, I, let's build a stage. The stage costs more money. I've been saying I'm gonna build a stage for the last 19 years. Let's just build our stage. So now I'm gonna put our stage down here toward, oh, but I don't wanna write next to that thing. I'm gonna put our stage up here. So our stage, our stage is is built. Okay, we have a stage. Congratulations, we finally have a stage. That only took a million years to do. And then we can seat, so this person now can be here because we have a stage. This person wants to sit by the door, we have a kitchen, and this person wants to sit by a window. Oh, we don't, we're don't. we not having a party today, get that out of here. Okay, so now we make another one, two, three gold. Not a super, not a super uh, money-making day, but let's be honest, we just needed a day where we like recouped our losses a little bit. And we go up in renown by one. So we're starting to gain back some favor with the citizens, which is great. 
So next day, we don't need to refill anything here. I'll take out people in a second. Let's see what our weather is like. Uh, oh, it's cloudy again, and we have an event today. So that's exciting. I forgot to move these people up here. Let's move this up here so I don't forget. Uh, let's bring out our people. It's only going to be six people today. Technically speaking, I was only supposed to do five people yesterday. I just mislooked at something. I don't know. I, I, I mislooked, but that's okay. Not, we, not, it's, it wouldn't have changed anything, so it's fine. So six people today because it's cloudy. So when it's cloudy, more uh, the, a normal amount of people come to the inn. And when it's sunny, less people come to the inn, right? Because they're like hanging out outside. And when it's rainy, more people uh, come to the inn because it's raining. They want to they want to stay in for the night. Just to give you an idea of how kind of how that works. So I think this is how this works. I can send this. I can send her here. I can send that here to purchase uh, to purchase for one coin uh, another sprite die. So we're gonna do that. And then I think I can send her. I think she can still go on an adventure. That's my understanding from the rules. Like, I don't think that takes the place of her town action because it doesn't say it does. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think it does according to what that says. So, uh, what are we doing? We, I want to, I really want to buy something else today. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm not going to spend any money. I'm just going to, I kind of want Todd to go on an adventure though. I kind of want Todd, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Kinda want, oh, right. Todd's going to work on this. That's Todd's goal. So Ruby will go on an adventure. Todd will do this. So to do this, Todd has to spend one villager and four dollars because <throat> we're going to work on building the inn today. And that gives us an income. And we still are going to need one more income to be able to finally build that in. So that's where we're at. Ruby's going to go on an adventure. I promise Todd will go on another adventure at some point. Okay. It's, it's, only, it's only a matter of time. This is called a secret kept. New families are trickling into Mythwin more frequently now, so when you spot Lisbeth, the teenage daughter of a well-known resident with a newcomer, it's only natural to introduce yourself. Little did you know they were trying to meet in secret. Lisbeth appeals for discretion. So much drama in this town. Mirazek and I only just met, but we are in love. Please don't tell our parents, though. Unfortunately, there's been a falling out, and they never understand. Oh my god. Um... I can promise to keep their secret, or I can regretfully inform them that it would be irresponsible to not mention it to their parents. <laughs> Listen, snitches get stitches. I'm not telling their parents. Can you imagine Ruby? Ruby's not going to be like, hey, your daughter out there canoodling with Mirazek. I don't even know. Is Mirazek a boy? A girl? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, I mean, I don't care. Lisbeth, live your best life. I, whoever. Love who you love. Um, but I, I'm not telling their secret, please. Um, <laughs> it's not even a question. Ru Ru Ruby is not snitching, okay? Thrilled with your answer, they barely get out a thank you before running off hand in hand. Shuffle in event P1 into the, oh my god, their parents are going to come to the end and, why didn't you tell me about Lisbeth's relationship? Little do we know, we just started all kinds of family drama. Like, when families, like, go after each other in this town, remember this moment because it's gonna, it's gonna be our fault. Uh, and that lets us do a sprite action, so that's exciting. Um, okay, <laughs> great, Everybody, everybody's great, let's come home. So it's cloudy, which means that potentially Todd would like to plant something today, because then Todd can plant two somethings today. Um, okay, so let's do that. Let's do, a, let's plant these strawberries. Uh, uh, I think I can plant them here. And then let's also plant these potatoes for $1. And we'll plant those. Oh, can I fit, can they go here? No, they can't. Oh, that's so rude. It's so rude. Um, it's fine, everything's fine. And then we'll use our sprites to do a tend action to, gosh, it's just hard to get stuff like, it's hard to get stuff moving, you know what I mean? Uh, to flip over, I guess I'll flip this over first. Um, no, I'll flip this over first. Just kidding, I'll do this one first. Okay, great. Uh, so we have some finished potatoes that can then be hopefully sold soon. Perfect. Uh, so that's that, we'll refill this, and then we'll go deal with whatever crisis is happening at the end today. So first we're gonna do, uh, as her action, we're gonna do the pamper action. Um, to put this person, let's put them by a window uh, to gain one coin. 
And then uh, the that will leave us with three. Let's use our sprites to build. Uh, should we build back our bar? Let's build back our bar, which costs eight gold. Uh, let's get our bar back in business. Uh, here. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Put it here. Uh, so now our bar is back in business. That's great news. And then let's seat our, our folks here um, by the window, by the door. None of these people are going to complain. So then we get three more dollars. And then we're good. We're good. Everything's good. And we go back up at one in Renown, which is probably going to bite us in the butt next round. But cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. <laughs> good day. Good day at the end. We didn't make a lot of money, but we also didn't lose a bar or a table or a window. I wasn't aware that guest complaints could make you lose parts of your building, but apparently they can, and that's really stressful, okay? Let's go to the next day. <laughs> All right, it is raining, our first rainy day this season. Uh, that is great for Todd, because that means that Todd is going to get to um, tend twice, and we need to tend so we can start selling some stuff. Um, so I'm all for it. This is going to go back to here. Oh, come on now. There we go. Um, okay, okay, okay. So... We're going to, uh, first, we're going to see who's coming to the bar tonight. That means that, unfortunately, <laughs> nine people <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no, Ruby. <laughs> Ruby, we have a problem. Ruby, abort, abort. Um, wow, it's, it's, it's so bad. It's, I can't even tell you how bad it is. It's... That's only eight. We should have to draw one more from this hideous bag. Okay, okay, okay. So what if we go, first we go to the tavern with Todd. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and get that building, the inn, I'm gonna get the inn going, okay? So we're gonna do, oh man, Todd doesn't, Todd, you can't do that yet, my friend. You have to hire a worker first. Ay, yay, 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 yay. We can't because we need one of these guys. Okay, so next round. So don't do this this turn. Is Ruby going on another adventure? <laughs> oh, I could have done this. That would be a good way to do that. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. The, uh, you can keep the two gold though. We're gonna do. We're gonna do what I was gonna do. So we're actually gonna go to the trading post. We're gonna pay the two gold and we're gonna lower our um, our culture by one to go up in our income by one. That's what we're gonna do. That's that's the smarter play here. Oh my gosh! I just realized we also need production to do that. Can't win. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that again next turn. <laughs> we're gonna have to go there again. Oh, we still can't build that thing. That's wild. I go to the general store and get her two character actions, which might be worth it because we're about to have a whole a whole host of problems. I'm gonna go here with her so and pay three so she gets two character actions this turn because I'm gonna need them because things are gonna get about to get wild because there are four people who want to sit by windows at the end tonight. <laughs> And for those keeping track, I have two windows. <laughs> I mean, I could have bought another window. Really? Another? But I want window with culture, with a type. I want window with a vibe. I want windows. I want a fancy window. And those are more expensive. Why are fancy windows more expensive? I feel like everyone deserves to have a nice window, a fancy window. Why do they? The inflation in Mythwind is just out of control. Let me tell you. Okay. Todd is going to 10 today, so he can 10 twice, and then we'll go from there. Okay, great. I'm glad we came to a consensus. So let's tend these potatoes, and then let's tend these potatoes. Great, love that for us, because uh, we get to tend twice because of our um, of our skill. And then we're going to do this. We're going to um, sell both of these because I can sell. Oh no, lies. Going here. This is where I had to go because of this. Um, whatever this is, this sickle thing. Uh, I can sell both of these. So then I get seven gold for selling both of these. Super duper. Put those into the bag, get some money, send the sprites back to the tower. Kumbaya. Ruby. <laughs> Ruby, your life is rough, let me tell you. So really, okay, the only thing that I need to have is the door for sure. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Did I mention wow? This is so crazy. Okay, so my two actions are going to be to pamper twice, okay? I'm going to pamper this person and send them here and get a gold. Then I'm going to pamper this person and send them here 
and get a gold. So those are my two actions. And then tables, door. I really wish I had enough to buy something, but I don't. Oh, I could throw a party with my with my little sprites. Not the worst idea I've ever had because then I would get some extra money. Let's throw a party. I mean, it lowers my renown, but I think I'm gonna go right back up again um, afterwards, so it's fine. Okay, so then th this sprite will sit by the door. These, This lovely person will sit by that window. Uh, this person will sit by this window. And then, just because I love him so much, my friend Todd will sit at his table. Todd gets his table for the night because we weren't oversold. Okay, so then I get one, uh, one, two, three, four from those. Yeah, so I get four dollars from those. Let's just take a five and put one back. And then I go back up one renown. Oh, and I get two more dollars for the windows because we threw a party. I forgot to put this thing here, but we threw a party at the windows. Not a bad day. Not a bad day at the inn. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. That that second character action made a huge difference. Like, that helped a lot. Uh, that was worth it. <laughs> that was worth the money we spent on it because that was going to be wild if we didn't do that. It was just going to be, I mean, nine people all in one night. It was, it was a busy night. Todd is out of workers. So let's see what the next day has in store for us. But I really want to get that in built. It's a sunny day. And we have an event, a wild crop. Some of the fairy sprites direct a group of townsfolk to an unexplored area in the forest. It opens up to a meadow that reveals a bevy of natural grown vegetables. They appear hardy and able to grow through all types of weather conditions. Gain some food. Love that. I love gaining food. Okay, great. That's okay. Listen, <laughs> nothing bad happened to us. We will take it. I'm going to go here and pay $2 and I actually will pay a food, I think, uh, to raise our um, production. And then I'm going to send Ruby here. Uh, and she is going to build the inn. So the inn takes two income, two production, two culture, and two food. And then it goes here. Anytime we pay food and or culture, we gain a dollar for each of those. So Ruby's actually going to gain $4, uh, which is great. So, I mean, it would have been better if Todd gained some money, but listen, Todd is doing his part. Okay. And, and qu quite frankly, Ruby needs the money worse because we're trying to, we're trying to build it in. What is Todd trying to do? Romance a rock golem and plant some potatoes? That's not as important. Sorry, Todd. I didn't mean to yell at you. You're, you're important. Todd, you matter. You matter so much, just not as much as Ruby. I think Todd is making like the food production of the town or whatever. It's fine. Okay, everybody's home. Okay, so I just want to point out, uh, typically when you pull these out, if they have a red dot on them, that means that there's someone who will complain. So far, every single person I pulled out of the bag is a complainer. We are hosting, we're hosting a Karen party tonight uh, at the inn. Yeah, ide ideally I have to pamper two people. Or I could pamper one person and send another person back to the bag and then I could build something. Do we want a kitchen or do we want some some performing arts? Uh, it's like a play situation. Oh, this is hard um, because I feel like both things come up a lot. Let's do let's do a kitchen first. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pamper. We're gonna pamper this person. I'm gonna send them to the bar. They're gonna give us one coin, okay? And then uh, I'm gonna send this other whiny little sprite back to the bag get out of here go there's another it's actually another inn down the street you should go visit them i hear their muffins are better and i hear their milkshakes bring all the rock golems to the yard so head over there for the night thanks um okay and then we're gonna use my sprites my last action with these little sprites and they are going to build the kitchen and we're gonna do which one do we pick oh no there's so with the with the kitchens now we have to pick a style so we have to have a, a, a style of one of them and once you have two of a style then you've like adopted that style into your inn and you you then like counted as having as having it yes and and embracing styles is nice too because if if uh if you've embraced a style which means that you have two of that style then it and you put a guest in that wants that style it will immediately like they they immediately are happy even if you don't have like the specific spot to sit them, if you've embraced the style, they're happy. It like trumps whatever. So let's do let's do a kitchen, and let's let's embrace the style of these these pillars, these Greek pillars. We're gonna add we're gonna add a kitchen with some Greek pillars. How's that sound? 
Sounds exciting, right? Uh, the kitchen has to go, or the, the food service, this is food service, has to go next to the kitchen, obviously. Uh, so we'll put it like, yeah, we'll put it down here. Okay. And that, I didn't even pay for that. That cost $15. <laughs> I was just like, you don't have to pay for things in this game, right? We didn't have to pay for things in this game. Todd would be a whole lot richer. Let me tell you that right now. Okay. So we got that. Now we host some people. So, uh, oh, not you. You're going to go by the door. You're going to go by the window. You're going to go at the table and you're going to go by the window and you're happy because we have a stage. And then I make four, four dollars. Four dollars? Yes, four dollars. Great. I'll just put one of these back. Okay, great. Okay, good. Love that. Love that for everybody. The inn, I really like managing the inn, by the way. I mean, obviously, I love managing the farm, too, but the inn just is, like, such a fun little puzzle to me, and I love, like, adding things to it, and, like, I don't know, I feel like I can kind of imagine it in my mind, like, as we start to add new fiction. It, if you ever played, vid like, cozy video games, like, they're kind of two things that you're usually doing. You're managing some sort of, like, cozy business, or you're managing a farm, and I'm basically doing both right now, so... That's super fun to me. I, this game like lets me live out all of my favorite cozy things. Uh, okay, next day, next day, get it together. Okay, all right, so it is sunny, and when this symbol comes up, we switch out our sprites. So now our spr this sprite's gonna come in, and he allows us to go there to pay one to hire villagers instead of sprites. So we got this a going, that's great. Todd hasn't been on an adventure. Ruby wants more money. Oh, Ruby needs to buy workers too. And Ruby's workers are more important. So let's send uh, Todd an adventure. Ruby will hire some workers. Let's go crazy. Let's hire Ruby uh, one of each of these. Yes, no, sure. I mean, that takes a lot of our money. Um, and then Todd, Todd's going on an adventure. Todd, this is, is this Todd's first adventure of the day? No, he almost got crushed by a rock. How could I forget? Oh, okay, so this is cool. So this is a card that I put in from, um, this is like a rumor that I added into this, uh, which is one of Ruby's abilities. So it's pretty cool. It actually gets, it actually moves this up by one. Um, and then this just goes back into her gossip deck, which is really cool. So that's kind of neat. And then we just take the next adventure. Look at that. Something, pay, something I did back in autumn paid off. The Two-Faced Hill. On a broad plain, you find a grassy hill. It looks natural as you approach, but then you see embedded terraces in it. They could be enormous steps, so tall you'd have to climb them, which appear to lead nowhere. A nearby wood golem watches on in silence. So I can watch the way the hill's steps create shadows as the sun rises. I can carefully examine the steps, applying knowledge of your own trade to the mystery. Or I can lose one to, one to three dollars to the wood golem to learn more. Um, I feel like Todd, Todd, first of all, Todd's not asking for directions. Look at Todd. Todd, listen, Daddy Todd, we love him, but he is not asking for it. Can you tell me more about this? Can you give me some instructions about these steps? <laughs> Can you imagine? No. Uh, I think Todd is going to go over there and, and, like, figure out the steps on his own. I feel like he has knowledge in his own trade. His, his time farming has taught him much about steps that lead to nowhere. If your role is a farmer... <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If your role is a farmer, ranger, or crafter, success! <laughs> See, I told you. I knew. I knew Todd could handle this. I like, I had, I had faith in Todd. If success, the hillside begins to talk to you in color. A spectacular light show follows that only you can see. With your perspective broadened, anything is possible. That's so beautiful. I feel like, I feel like Chunk put on that light show for him, right? Like, I feel like Chunk is having, going through something right now. He can't, he can't talk to Todd about it because of family issues, but I feel like Chunk wanted Todd to know that he was okay, so he, like, used some natural powers that rock golems have, as you know, uh, to send to send Todd a little message, a beautiful little colorful message. I'm gonna make myself cry. Uh, gain a level two skill at no cost. Oh my goodness! <sighs> Would it be weird if I gave Todd the skill handy? So I think I am gonna actually use take the skill handy, uh, which is pretty cool because it lets you buy um, a piece of farm equipment for half the cost. Um, the thing is, do I want to put it, if I put it with the other farm equipment, it means I ha would have to like buy two at once. Um, but if I put it with the cow, then if I buy a cow, which cows are significantly cheaper, they're only $3, then I have the option of buying a farm equipment with it. Oh, but I can also move things around. Hmm, I don't know that I want to though. I'm gonna put it with the cow for now. I think that's a good call. Ooh, that was great. Good job, Todd. Oh, it's so sad. I don't know if we'll ever hear from Chunk again though. 
I worry for you, Todd. I worry. Okay, the children are the children worry. What am I? What the hell am I talking about? Okay, so because it's sunny, I could potentially sell two things, but I don't have two things I want to sell. Uh, I think maybe I will just sell this. I think that'll just be what I do this turn. I'll just sell this for four dollars. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, I could sell something else for one dollar, but I don't really think it's worth it. Oh, I could clear something though. I could clear something. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold every everything just changed. Okay, let's do that. Let's clear something. So let's spend that. I'm gonna actually spend that four dollars I just got to clear this land to give us more space. I think that's that's the call. There it is. Figured it out. So proud of myself. Kind of, sort of. Over here, we got a lot going on with Ruby right now. I think if I I I think I I think I know what I have to do. Okay. Because we're 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 a little bit we're in a little bit of trouble here because we just don't have enough seats for all of these people that want to complain about things. So I'm gonna use my um, pamper action and I'm gonna pamper. Let's pamper this person and they can just sit at the bar. We'll get a dollar for them, and then I can send someone back to the bag, which is exactly what I will do with this person. And then I will use my sprites to do another pamper action. Um, to put this person, we'll set them here at the fireplace, and then that gives me another dollar. I'm not going to use my villagers this time around, so I'm just going to do one, two, three to get three more dollars. And then we'll move up in a renown, and we, we did it. <laughs> we survived another day. It really does feel like working a hospitality job. Like, every day is just... We just gotta get through it. We just gotta survive. We just gotta get through it. Everybody's good. Let's move on to our next day. It is raining and we have an event working together. The town is really working together to get things done. There's some real momentum happening now. Immediately complete construction on a building of your choice in the construction queue. <gasps> that means our inn. Our inn is done. Oh, and we get a, we get a culture for that. We've built an inn, which I, technically I think is competition for... <laughs> For, for Ruby, so I don't know how excited she is about that, but Ruby, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Girl, don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, okay, so the inn is cool because the inn basically lets us spend two to upgrade once everybody that's here, like all the workers. So that's actually really neat. I think we're going to, it's raining, which means tending would be a great thing to do today, but I do like the idea of building another piece of equipment at some point. Maybe Todd hires some more workers? How many days do we have left? Because I want Todd to go on one more adventure. Todd will go, we have one day left. Todd will go on an adventure for the last day. So I'm gonna hire some workers for Todd. Okay, and then Ruby, Ruby will go on an adventure and then Todd will go on an adventure for our last day of the year. How does that sound? I think that sounds great. Uh, let's, I, I take that back. We're gonna do this thing to give her a second character act. So let's, let's worry about Todd first. So it is raining. So Todd is going to do some tending and he can tend two things. So he's gonna tend these strawberries and he's gonna tend these uh, these beans, some beans. And then I think I'm gonna send some some of these workers, the first the first batch of group, uh, the first batch of workers I'm gonna send to do a plant action, and they're gonna plant some of these potatoes. And because I'm planting these next to this plant thing, I actually can plant a second round of potatoes. So we'll, I'm gonna do the sell action to sell these strawberries that are up here. Get, get, get some money. And then Ruby, okay, Ruby gets two actions and we have some, some workers. So let's see what we can do. So actually there's only two problem children <laughs> and I can, I can definitely take care of them. This is gonna be, this is gonna be wild. This could be a night at the inn for the ages, all right? So for my first character action, I'm going to pamper. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. I spoke too soon. Uh, no, we can still do it. It's gonna be fine. Everything's, because I just have to send somebody back to the bag, basically. Pamper. You ready for this? I'm gonna pamper this person and I'm going to send them to the bar and that's gonna give us one coin. And then I'm going to put this character who was supposed to go to the bar back in the bag. For my second character action, I'm going to pamper this person and I'm going to send them to sit by 
the stove and gain another coin. And then I'm going to send this person who's going to sit by the stove back to the bar. Um, because they were, there weren't enough, there weren't enough spaces to sit was the problem. <laughs> it was a little, it was a little tight. The next thing we're going to do, I'm actually not going to use my sprites. I don't need them, which is great, but I am going to throw a party at the windows to get some extra money. I'm going to put this person at the window, this person at the window, this person at this table, and this person here. So I gain one, two, three, four gold for them and then two more gold for the windows, so six total. So we actually might be able to build something in our next round. And that's the night, and we didn't get any complaints because we sent those people down the street. <laughs> We're like, ooh, get out. We're starting to exercise our power of reserving the right to decline service, and I love that for us. Ruby's really coming to her own. At first she was like, I can't turn people away, and now she's like, I must turn people away. She's becoming an evil innkeeper. Uh, good for you, Ruby. With that, we enter our last day of the year. Last day of winter, last day of the year. It is rainy again. We would move up um, a building, but we don't have any buildings there. So we're just gonna head right into the day. I really want her to be able to build something this round, so I don't want her to spend any money. But unfortunately, there's a lot of things that require that we spend money. So maybe what we'll do, maybe I will hire one more worker, because I think I can make that money back, hopefully. Okay, so Todd, adventure. Todd, adventure. All right, Todd, let's see what's in store for you. This is called Old Sack Pants. What? <laughs> you chance across the sprite the villagers call Old Sack Pants, a short creature wearing the odds and ends discarded by villagers as clothes. Oh, I love him already. A burlap sack on each leg and a torn leather pack for a mask. While they look a little goofy to you, the creature has a certain proud bearing uh, you can't help but admire. Sack Pants waves to you tentatively. We can give them a warm greeting and compliment their attire, or offer to get them some real clothes and lose one dollar. Todd's not gonna be- listen, I think the nice thing to do would be like, here's a dollar, go get some real clothes. Like, I don't think Todd would even be judgmental in that way, right? Like, Jod Todd would not be like, wow, go buy yourself some real clothes. Todd would never, because look at Todd. Todd is a simple farmer, he's going around with his overalls, Todd's not that guy. He's just going to give a compliment because Todd, Daddy Todd, is such a sweet guy. Come on, right? He's going to give them a warm greeting and compliment their attire. Sack Pants drops their chin bashfully. If you didn't know better, you'd say they were blushing. They go on their way with a little extra spring in their step. You feel encouraged to think outside the box. Oh, oh, we get to upgrade all the sprites in the, uh, in the tower. That's exciting. I love that. That's so cute. Oh, Todd's last adventure is him giving out compliments and being a nice guy. That's so nice. Our last night here, uh, we have to, um, okay, so it is raining. So I would love to be able to tend because then I can tend twice. So let's do that. Let's tend these and then let's tend these. I'm going to use some of these to plant. We'll plant some strawberries. And then I'll use the other ones to sell, and we will sell these beans. We're gonna sell. We're gonna sell them beans and get four more dollars, so that Todd can start next our next year with a little coin in his pockets. Uh, and then we have to deal with this situation. I, I mean, I have six spots to put people, so that's pretty good. So I'm gonna pamper, and I'm gonna put this person at one of the windows, right? Because I can't. Yeah put this person at one of the windows and gain a coin. And then I can send someone back to the bag and I'm gonna send this other person back to the bag so we don't have to deal with their nonsense. And then I'm gonna use one of these people to do another pamper action to, I'm gonna let Todd, I want Todd to sit down even though we don't have a place, uh, he can't sit at his normal table, but he can sit by the fire. Look at that, Todd, you can sit by the fire. How cute is that for you, my friend? And then these guys are all going to get to sit where they want to sit, which is great. Oh, Todd, I lied. I need you to go by the window. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just kidding. Uh, and then can we build something? Ooh, let's build. All right, that needs 15. I feel like we keep coming up on needing extra tables. So maybe an extra table. These need 15. Let's build an extra table. Because then we could then, uh, then we could also sit this person. Yeah, so we'll sit and we'll build another table by this window. Okay, and then we put people in. So, oh wait, no, Todd, I lied. 
<laughs> just kidding, Todd. I lied. You do have to sit by the fire. I just keep moving, Todd. I'm like, Todd, actually, can you just... Get... But Todd, do you mind if we just... Todd, Todd, I went... <laughs> Just taking him all around the bar. Todd, I'm so sorry. Because uh, the last thing I want to do here, oh, that was a build action, which I did uh, an improve action. So I did that. And the last thing I want to do is I want to throw a party. Um, and I'm going to do the party on the windows to get some more money on the windows. And then we're going to put these folks at their tables, this person at the window and this person at the bar. Um, oh, and I can sit this person by the door as well. Look at that. All right, so we get $5 for people just sitting happily, and then we get another $2 for our party. We go down one in Renown, but we go back up because we had an excellent day, and that was a beautiful final day at the end. We only had one person that didn't get to sit, and they're a little rock golem that, that you know, and they just wanted to go to the bar. So really, I probably did them a favor. Um by not having a spot for them because I feel like they're always here and they're always going to a bar and I'm, I'm worried for them, so. All right, and that concludes our last day here in Mythwind. This was so fun. I, um, obviously I'm planning to continue playing this game um, on my own and continue exploring and building. And uh, I also have some friends that are really interested in the game. So I may get them to start playing or like reset so we can all play together. I haven't really decided. I, I really, um, I get asked a lot when I make these videos, like, well, do you like the game? And I, I hope that it comes through to you that resoundingly, yes, like, I love this game. Obviously, there's no combat. If you're somebody who likes story games that have more like combat or, you know, um, fighting monsters or dungeon diving, then this might not be the game for you. But if you like stuff like Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, um, stuff that is like very chill, very cozy. Um, if you like stuff like games where you get to play as an alchemist and you know, make things. If you like games where you get to play as a farmer, if you like games where you get to manage a business like an inn, this game is so fun. And I love, as you've watched me play this, you've probably seen me mix and match characters. Like when I sit down to play again, I might not play with either of these characters. I might try a different character. You know, I might mix and match characters. I might play two characters at once. I might play one character at once. There's just so much variability. And I love that the game just is so easy to pick up and pack away and then get back out again. And, um, it's, it's always evolving. You're always finding new things. I feel like for every time I find something that like feels like a step back, like losing my bar or Todd losing money, I feel like I'll discover something where they give me a free skill or uh, we earn a new worker or we open up a new secret envelope and there's something exciting in there. So it's, it's a game that's constantly like giving you new reasons to, to go exploring. And uh, I, I think too that the adventures are so fun. Like I, a lot of games, sometimes going on the adventure piece of it feels like a chore compared to everything else um, and feels a little too risky. But in this game, the adventures I've just found are so great. And they also help to like kind of push the story along. Like I love when you go on an adventure and it ends up starting a storyline that then you like shuffle something into the event deck that later will come back as something that continues on. There's just so much to love here. And I really, really like the game a lot. I, um, I love it. And like I said, I'm going to continue playing it and uh, and see where see where it takes us. So going forward, uh, the, I, like I said, the next uh, how to play or the next gameplay, like let's play video I'm going to do, I have a game in mind that would be a single play session. It's not like an ongoing adventure like this, but I just think it would be a fun game to play kind of as like a palate cleanser. Uh, and it does, it, I think it does leave room for a little bit of story as well. So I think that'll be fun. And then after that, I'm looking at two different games as far as the next one that we pick. I'm leaning more heavily towards one because it's a pretty defined like four to five sessions and you're done kind of game. Uh, so we would be able to see the entire story from beginning to end. And I think that would be really fun. And then I have another game that is more, a little bit more kind of in this vein, but a little bit more adventure -y, like going on an actual like quest and adventure with characters that I think I would want to do after that. I'll probably do some, an, an unboxing of that one um, in a short video and see what you guys think of it, because I think, I think that could be a lot of fun because I think it has a lot of adventuring to it. And it uh, has to do with like little like critter type animals going on adventures, which is one of my favorite themes, like cozy critter type creatures going on adventures. It's one of my favorite themes in board games. So I just think that would be a lot of fun. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this. Let me know what you thought of our last adventure in Mythwind. What do you think of the game? Have you played the game? Are you interested in the game? Um, and bonus, uh, you know, obviously I have some plans going forward, but is there a game that you think would be great for our Let's Play here that you would like to see me play um, and go on an adventure? I obviously prefer solo games because 
these videos take a lot of time to put together. So being able to have it be something that only that that I can play by myself, that I don't have to like wrangle other people to sit down in front of a camera for two to three hours with me, that could be a little challenging. So solo game, something that has a solo game uh, part of it or like is able to be played solo, I think is 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 the best for this. Um, but I'd love to know if there's something you have in mind that you'd love to see on the table here. So thank you so much again for watching this. I also want to give one last shout out to Open Owl Studios who made Mythwind. Um, obviously, like I said, this isn't sponsored, but they've been really lovely. They've given a lot of encouragement. I know they've been watching these videos and really enjoyed them and have shared them. And so I just want to say thank you so much, not only for sharing uh, these videos uh, with your with your audience and with uh, the players who love your game, but also just for engaging with this and um, being so supportive and also for making a great game because I really love this game and I'm so happy that you brought it into the world because it's so good. Um, and okay, oh, whoa, I'm getting a little emotional. We gotta stop that, stop that right now. Um, ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I'll see you next time for our next playthrough. Have a wonderful rest of your day.